Welcome to the physics place, the place to learn about physics. And in this video, I'm going to explain what infrared and ultraviolet light is. Uh, therefore, first this one, uh, I already showed it in my previous video, a uh, prism with white light shining on it, and you can see the rainbow coming out here. And these are all the visible lights we can see. But if you go a little bit more to the right and a little bit more to the left, there's also different kind of lights, which are there, but we, will con we cannot see them. So here, if we look at the spectrum, you have all the colors from red to purple. And there's one here, which is ultraviolet, uh, also uh, seen as UV. And this one uh, is uh, very important. We cannot see it, but it's really there. Uh, ultra means beyond, so it's beyond violet. Uh, and it can give you a tan. So if you're standing in, in the sun, you can uh, not feel this ultraviolet, but it will make you brown. So it gives you a tan. And you have to be careful because if you stand too long, that can also be harmful. It can damage your skin and it can result into skin cancer. So ultraviolet light is uh, can be very dangerous. So you also have to look out for it. You can see it, but your body does react to it uh, by making your uh, skin uh, more brown. And another small thing is that it, it's mostly blocked by glass. Not everything, but mostly blocked by glass. So if you are behind a window and the sun is shining on you, then uh, you will not be getting brown. Uh, you cannot get skin cancer that well because the glass is mostly blocking this ultraviolet light. Uh, some uh, insects use it. Uh, some insects can see this uh, ultraviolet light. For instance, here we have a flower as we can see it. And this is how you can see it when you will see ultraviolet light. So uh, some bumblebees uh, can see it like this. And you can see that the flower now is totally different than here. You can see that it's more focused in the middle because these insects, they need the nectar. They need to be in the middle. So this flower is really showing with its colors, which we cannot see because it's ultraviolet, but it's showing the insect where they need to be. Here another example. This is how we can see it and this is how insects see it so because they can see ultraviolet light. And these flowers, they become different then. And the second one is infrared. It's here. It's on the red part. Uh, infrared, also no, uh, known as IR, it's uh, below. So infrared is below red. Uh, it's also heat. So this is the one that we feel. If you stand in the sun uh, and you then you can feel the infrared light. So the fact that you feel the warmth, that's the infrared light. And that you are getting brown, that's the uh, ultraviolet light. So they are both doing something different. Uh, sometimes people think, oh, it's hot, so I can get brown. But that's not the same light. So uh, the heat is the infrared, and it doesn't make you brown. And it's not that harmful. This one is harmful, but you cannot feel it. You will only feel it when it's too late, when the skin is already uh, burnt or damaged. Infrared can go through glass, so uh, you cannot get brown behind glass, but you will feel the warmth. Um, and it's also used for night vision, and there's an also another appliance in the house which is very important for infrared. I will show that in a minute. But it's also used for night vision, because we as humans, uh, we are warm, uh, we make heat, so we actually make infrared light. So we are actually light bulbs, uh, so in the dark we will make light, but we cannot see each other's light, we, because it's infrared light. Uh, other animals can see it, and there's special cameras that can see it and it will look like this so here you have a boat for instance and there's people on the boat it's completely dark here normally you wouldn't see it but infrared cameras can see it because we as people we are just light bulbs making infrared light because we are warm everything that's warm uh, it's making infrared light here the engine is also very warm so it's also making the infrared light uh, here you have a picture of a cow as you can see near the eyes near the nose that's really warm here in the middle of the air it's warm and also the outside it's a little bit colder and you can see that it's less infrared light finally this picture uh, you have a snake snakes are cold blooded that means that they have roughly the same temperature as the outside and you can see that the snake is roughly the same color as the floor and the mouse here in the middle it's warm blooded just like we are so it's making infrared light so you can see it on an infrared picture Another nice appliance for infrared is this person. He is holding a hand with an, a certain amount of fingers. You cannot see it with visible light, it's blocked. But if you use infrared, then it will look like this. And then you can see that, you, that he has five fingers under this material because the infrared light from his hand is going through it. Uh, his glasses here, you can see that they are blocking a bit of the infrared light. Not everything, because infrared does go through glasses, but you can see that they are colder than he is, of course. So light goes through that, the infrared light, but uh, a little bit less, and they are colder than he is. And in the back, it's really cold, so that's why it's black there. Another very important appliance for infrared light uh, is the remote control. Uh, as you can see, there's a small lamp uh, in front of it. And if I push a button, you will see that it will flash a little bit of light. Uh, if I look at it now, I don't see it. You can uh, pick your own uh, remote and you can check it. 
you will not see it. But if you have a camera, for instance, of your smartphone, there's a chance that you will see it. So that's actually infrared light. So that's how your remote control communicates with your television. So it flashes in a certain frequency. The television then knows what button you push and it will go to the correct channel or it will do something with the volume or something else depending on what button you pushed. So try it, uh, find the remote control in your house, get a smartphone, put it on camera mode, and maybe you will see uh, through the smartphone that the light is actually flashing. You will not see it with your own eyes because it's infrared light and we cannot see it. The TV can see it, the camera can see it, uh, and that's of course enough that the TV can see it because that's the one who needs to react on it. That's it, I hope you now know the difference between uh, ultraviolet and infrared light and that you know where it's been used for. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please let me know by liking and of course subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.